Lesson one, degree and radian measure of angles. Now, an angle measure, or an angle, is formed by the rotation of a ray with respect to some initial point. Now, what that means is that we are taking a ray, something that has a, a point and is going on in some certain direction, and we are rotating it either clockwise or counterclockwise. We will talk more about the differences between the direction and rotation later. For now, you have to understand that an angle measure is simply the space in between what happens when you rotate an object some amount. Now, in order to measure the space that something is rotating by, there are a few different ways to measure an angle measure. There's a few that you may be more familiar with, and we're going to go through them relatively slowly. However, in general, the measure of an angle is a number which indicates the amount of rotation that separates the rays. There are multiple ways to measure an angle. One of the most common ones, though, is degree measure. As a few examples of some common angles you may be familiar with, if you take the initial ray and you rotate it completely around all the way back to where it began, for example, here on the left side, we have the black ray with the initial point facing to the right. If we rotate that counterclockwise all the way around so that it lays back on top of where it initially was, we refer to that as a full rotation or 360 degrees. If, instead, you only go half the way, going from this initial ray that's facing to the right and you've turn it counterclockwise, so now it is facing in the exact opposite direction. That is half of a full rotation, and half of 360 degrees gives you 180 degrees. If you instead rotate that initial ray only a quarter of a full rotation, and that means one quarter of a full rotation of 360 degrees gives you a result of 90 degrees. Angle measures that are drawn in the way that I was representing the previous few cases, where you have an initial ray facing to the right along what we may refer to as the positive x-axis on a rectangular plane, is said to be in standard position. This is typically how we will draw angle measures for the time being until we become a little bit more familiar with them. There are various names for other kinds of special angle measures. For example, two rays from an initial point that are directly opposite of one another, we call that 180 degrees earlier, is also referred to as a straight angle. This is because the two rays now form a straight line. If the measure of the angle that you have lies between zero degrees and 90 degrees, such as something like 30 degrees or 45 degrees, we would refer to this as an acute angle measure. Whereas an angle measure that is larger than 90 but still less than 180 degrees, we refer to that as an obtuse angle measure. If two angle measures together sum up or add up to a total of 90 degrees exactly, for example, 30 degrees and 60 degrees add up to 90, these two angle measures together are referred to as complementary angle measures. If the two angles that you have instead add up to 180 degrees exactly, for example, 110 degrees and 70 degrees, we refer to this as a pair of supplementary angles. A less commonly used definition refers to angle measures that lie exactly on sides of the coordinate axis. For example, 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. We refer to these as quadrantal angles because they lie on the axes for the four quadrants of the rectangular plane. Lastly, and likely more importantly, we have what happens when you have two angle measures in standard position that share the exact same terminal side. We refer to these as coterminal angle measures. 
Because we have not seen an example of one of these yet, I will do a quick demonstration. Say if you have a ray that is facing in standard position towards the right. If I rotate this ray, say, I will do one third of the way for a full rotation. That would be around that amount, resulting in an angle measure that looks like this. One third of a full rotation would be 120 degrees. But let's say I continue from that terminal side and I do one more rotation on top of that. So, for example, from that 120 degree measure, if I rotate again all the way around back to that same place. Well, what this overall now means is that we have rotated 120 degrees plus an additional 360 degrees. 120 degrees plus 360 degrees will give you 480 degrees. The numbers 120 degrees and 480 degrees are two different numbers. However, their terminal position is in the same place. These two angle measures, graphed from the same standard position, share the exact same terminal side. They end at the same place. We refer to these as co-terminal angle measures because they share the same terminal side.